iFab met today to make changes to the laws of the game for the start of next season. Nothing particularly striking, however, clarification regarding handball into the lead up to the goal. Dale Johnson all over it, by the way, you should follow him. Uh, so, goals that will be disallowed. Handball goal, handball pass goal, handball falls to teammate, pass goal. Also, as we welcome in Shaka and Ali, the handball rule changes the fact that this is no longer handball. It's down to kind of the bottom of the armpit, Shaq. Are you happy with that? Listen, I'm, I'm happy as long as it's universally understood and universally applied. Maybe the length of a shirt helps in adjudicating those decisions. But as long as all referees are on board and understand the rules and apply it um, in the same fashion, I, I have no real issue with the law change. Mr. Moreno? Well, the issue is, is that we're trusting that it is going to be universally applied and more importantly, universally interpreted. It's still about interpretation. I don't know that this clarification furthers the conversation any further forward, because let me tell you something. How, what is a pass to a pass to a goal? Uh, what is a handball that actually impacts a goal and how far can you take it? And so while you can say pass to a goal directly for a handball, directly from a pass, from a pass, from a pass to a handball. How about we just say, hey, did the player benefit from utilizing his, his or her arm and put himself or herself in a position where a teammate can score a goal? Did they score the goal because of the use of the handball somewhere in the sequence of play leading up to the goal? And if that's the case, handball, see you guys later, and there's nothing else to it. I don't know why we have to clarify that, look, if there was a handball in the buildup, it's a handball. We move on with our lives. I, I don't know that this was absolutely necessary. And I can tell you that it's still going to be up to the interpretation of the referee on the day. That has not been clarified. Meanwhile, Shaka, the Premier League will have to use monitors. Now, any ambigu ambiguity in the wording has been taken out. Officials have to go to the monitor. It's a shame, really, it's taken this long for the Premier League to, to be told what to do. Yeah, and this is all about the Premier League, as, as you mentioned, Dan, because everybody else seemed to get that right and been using the monitor as was intended when, this, when that law was, was drafted and technology introduced to the game in, in that fashion. Why the Premier League went the way that they did continues to bemuse me. We've spoken about it in length during the course of the season while it lasted. And now IFAB is saying to the Premier League, stop doing as, as, you, as you have been. It's confusing everybody. And it's not good for the game, and, and rightly so. This is a slap on the wrist of the Premier League. No more. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.